uh, we are meeting Adam Mesher. Uh, he's a passionate about uh, Joomla and is from Nashville. He is a CEO of Joomla Gears and owner of New Lab Web Design. He has specialized in building e-commerce websites for the past 20 years and used J2 Store uh, extensively in Joomla. So today, uh, Adam will teach us uh, how we can use the core Joomla in more ways that we never thought possible and when building your level uh, e-commerce website. So uh, Adam, this is for you, the, the floor is yours. Oh, perfect, well, thank you very much. And it was a pleasure uh, uh, getting a chance to meet you a couple of days ago. And, uh, you know, just, uh, I think it's always a pleasure to mm -hmm meet other Joomlers and, um, you know, have something that uh, no matter where we are around the world, we all have, we're all tied by something. So, um, you know, since we do have limited time and those that do know, um, that do know me know that I can definitely eat up uh, whatever time um, that we need. Um, I did put together a brief slide show to help keep me on task and also um, uh, take some of the concepts, even uh, technical code items that I'm going to be covering and um, make it so you guys can take that information um, straight from my head and copy and paste from this document. So at the top of the document I'm about to share is my email address. For anybody that is interested in getting a copy of this, just simply send me an email. I will send this over to you. Also, uh, for anybody that has any questions uh, about anything that I've covered, even if I don't have enough time to cover it right now, uh, this will also give you uh, a chance to personally email me and anybody that knows uh, knows that I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for those that came before me that helped me. And so this is uh, my way of also helping pay it forward in the community. So with that being said, I am going to uh, share my screen and we're going to get started. So hopefully uh, you guys can see this. Um, Yes, perfect. Uh, oh, oh, great. Okay. So uh, this is going to basically cover the first uh, 15 minutes uh, is going to really just showcase lots of different uh, projects and examples. Uh, and then the second section is going to cover um, more of the back end, um, you know, what it looks like in Joomla, how I set this up using uh, core Joomla items, components, tags, uh, contact users, custom fields, everything all working together. Uh, and then the third section, uh, which probably not going to have enough time to go over in detail, is going to be more of the technical stuff, the code, the actual code that you need in a lot of your layout overrides to make some of these things happen. Um, and so since this is a condensed um, workshop of an hour, we're going to have a couple minutes at the end for some Q&A. And the beauty is at the end of this is going to be two coupon codes, one for J2 Store, one for Juma Gears, um, that are 30% off for anybody that sticks around that's willing to uh, put up with an hour of, uh, of this from me. And then um, what um, Olivier is going to do is going to um, grab names from those that are uh, asking comments, that are leaving uh, notes in there. So make sure that you at least leave something. And if you stick around at the end, he's gonna have a drawing and one winner is going to be picked out. It's gonna get a full year license to the full J2 store um, license and everything else that uh, we've um, already worked out with Ramish at J2 store. So exciting stuff. Um, so with that, we're gonna roll into the very uh, next item here is going to be the showcase side of things, um, which to me, any time I get a chance to show off something that I've done, I will definitely take full advantage of that. Um, so in, uh, in today's session, we're going to cover some examples of some home pages that are built using um, pretty much all core Joomla um, items, heavy overrides, but um, everything that you really need for core Joomla um, for, you know, in most cases uh, can actually be uh, overridden um, and tweaked and modified um, you know, through core Joomla items. We're going to cover some examples of some product pages, um, even some unique examples of the search, checkout. These are all things that in a normal e-commerce site 
are some of the uh, most important. Uh, the search helps somebody find what they're looking for or even find things that are close to what they're looking for. Um, obviously, a smooth checkout means you have less, uh, less people abandoning their carts, you have less attrition, you have higher conversion rates, a strong product page that has um, supporting documents, content, um, also helps increase your conversion rate. Um, uh, something that we also created to help uh, those manage their product subscriptions. Um, and then we're going to show some of the, uh, the tools also that I include in a lot of my e-commerce projects that help the store owners, um, or in some of your cases, some of your clients, some of them cases, maybe even uh, you as the store owner and developer, be able to help manage and keep a... Um, uh, you know, keep your thumb on the pulse of your, your store, how healthy is it, and so on and so forth, and to make the user experience much easier. So, um, so I suppose we will go through, and the very first item that uh, we are going to be uh, covering are some examples of some home pages. And so, uh, let's see, let me hide this. All right. So uh, we'll start off on, on a recent project that's more of a supplement company, a spinoff from another uh, 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 client of, of mine. And in this case, this is actually a product page. So we're not going to use that as the example. Um, but the two examples that we are going to use for this is one, which is my own personal project. Um, this is what got me involved in Joomla way back in the very beginning. Um, this has been rebuilt probably a dozen times since then. Um, and has gotten better each time. But this is an example of multiple, uh, you know, sections that are all working together. If you notice, it's getting close to Memorial Day. So we have Memorial Day banner. We also have the, uh, you know, American flag kind of behind the logo. And as we uh, see this, um, let me see here. You can see this transcript recording. Looks like the transcript is enabled, so that's good. But as we scroll through here, you'll notice that there's certain items that would not normally be on this page if I didn't have a template setting set for different holidays. It's set to, to trigger on a certain date and end on a certain date. And so it automatically adds things to, uh, to these projects, such as you know the red, white, in blue stars here. If you're in England, you could do something similar. Whatever country you're in, you can tweak these to match um, specific holidays themes that uh, would would uh, would fit for your audience. Um, but all these things can automatically be turned off with a simple setting in the template that um, that I will show you how to how to uh, enable and how to run in the code that's involved for that. But just going through this initial page, this, this image right here is actually the full, uh, the full image for an article that I have in a section of categories called um, Homepage Hero Banners. And uh, I simply have a tag that is on there that whichever one I want to enable at that time. Um, this one is set to publish um, yesterday and is set to um, unpublish. Uh, on uh, at midnight on the 31st, and then the normal um, the normal article is set to publish again on June 1st at uh, at midnight, and so uh, I don't have to do anything. It's fully automated, and also the uh, the holiday theme that I will show you um, a little bit later on is also set for set date range. So at uh, at midnight on the 31st. The Redline Superstore logo will go back to the normal one, all the additional holiday, you know, uh, and this uh, this could be used for Halloween, for Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, whatever holidays you have in your country um, can definitely uh, be done. So this is an example of a home page. So the this main one item here is an article. If you uh, shrink this down to a mobile, the thumb image, for that article is what's used for the mobile view. These items here, um, the, uh, the CBS Market Watch, these are different art, uh, websites that have uh, carried articles about uh, about us in them. These are a um, in in the banner component uh, modules. So these are banners. Um, these icons here are menus. These are all layout overrides. These are all items that are used that are given to us for free with uh, with 
you know, any Joomla install. Now, because J2 Store um, isn't uh, set to release for Joomla 4 until uh, either the end of next month um, uh, or early June, um, the projects I'm going to show you and the code are all um, the most recent version of Joomla. Uh, I believe it's uh, 3.10.8. Um, and but the actual code itself that I'm going to share with you uh, will work in Joomla 4. I've used it myself um, in Joomla 4 projects. So uh, and the concepts and ideas are not going to change um, the platform on the back end uh, and the structure may change a little bit, but the overall concepts aren't. This area here is an article categories module that displays the different categories. Uh, this is another override of a menu item. So we can uh, focus on a couple of the main items, the shop red, white, and blue. This is a module that um, is an article category module that obviously is heavily modified um, to also bring in the J2 store uh, product object, uh, which are all associated with an article for those that are um, and have used J2 store in the past, which means that we could bring in custom fields, we could bring in all sorts of cool core Joomla items into the product page and vice versa um, to allow us to really uh, focus on, on filtering out uh, through uh, different items. These are all tags. OK, um, and so if you want to see any product that's tagged with the Reaper design, they can do that and so on. Another example is one that we just launched last week. This has been a massive seven month project uh, where it's actually integrated with the client's um, Microsoft Dynamics GP database. So this site is actually built on a Windows server um, with uh, multiple APIs that are connecting it that uh, sync the users, sync the products, the pricing everything including the orders back and forth so when they update the order in their system then it will automatically update the order in uh in our system and vice versa and so this site um is also built uh in a very similar manner this video that you see here is actually a, a video that we attach to another article different styles but um, all the text here is all uh, all done through custom fields, including the video section that allows us to uh, us being either whoever the developer is, in this case, me or the site administrator to be able to uh, switch out to different banners, whether it's video or a static like the previous one. This banner up here, since we just launched and they're having to reset their passwords. Um, this is also a template feature that uh, allows them to set it for a certain date range or um, have they, this message could scroll if they had more than one message um, and it gives them the ability to have site-wide messages uh, if there's a shortage or if there's a delay on, on an item or so on and so forth and as we scroll down this is a, another a tag view these are all tags so when uh, when when the client uh, wants to tag a certain product as these are the industries that are that this product works best in. They simply add a standard Joomla tag to it and it adds it directly to uh, to these different tags and and uh, the visitor can actually come and visit and see the different products in the tags. Uh, trending products. This is also another uh, article module. Um, same as this this one actually is displaying the articles, which is also an article module. And the distributor spotlight, these are uh, uh, banner items from the banner component. Uh, these three items here, these are defined as a repeatable field that I created in a template override, uh, which allows them to create more, less, um, and define which icons they wanna use, the title and the text uh, in a very easy, uh, simple format. And so in a, on a ba very, very basic level, these, uh, you know, generally when you have an e-commerce site, um, you know, what so far has shown to uh, have the best results on, uh, on a mobile and desktop is you have a main hero image video, something that kind of helps uh, capture their attention and be able to um, get them to scroll down the rest of the page. Then something where they have categories or a way for them to kind of uh, dive into a certain section that they're looking for quickly. Then you have some trending featured products. You have some supporting articles content and some supporting indicia or ways to 
uh, promote some of your top distributors uh, like they do down here. Um, and so this is another example of, of another uh, homepage, totally different uh, setup, but, uh, but the overall concept is the same. This is also a, um, a menu module override that uh, really allows them to have the complete, um, uh, the complete listing of every, every one of their products. Um, and so going through that, th these are some uh, brief examples of uh, different home pages. I could show you uh, countless other home pages as well. And if anybody's interested, you're more than welcome to email me and I can uh, discuss as much as you guys want. Um, the next item we're going to cover um, is search functions, because oftentimes we will find that when we're searching for stuff, if the customer is able to find something easily, then they don't get frustrated. And at the same time, uh, there's generally a better chance that they're going to complete the checkout. We're racing against time when we have e-commerce sites. Somebody comes to our site, whether they intended to or they click the banner ad or an email or anything. We have very limited time before something, anything pops up that distracts them and takes them off of what I like to call the yellow brick road. So I use uh, the um, oh, off Jan uh, Ajax search, uh, which which we have heavily um, you know modified in this case. But this allows me where if I'm just typing in something like uh, bench for a bench scale. This is going to pull up in the order of, of importance of all the ones that have the word bench in the title and the description, uh, anything of that uh, nature. And so if I'm going to click on the AquaShield Max, I'm gonna click on this, which would take us to um, an example of a product page, which would be a good segue for that. Um, this would essentially uh, take me here. Now, what if in this case, I'm going to pick a different uh, skew here, but let's say that this skew right here that I am, I know this is what I'm looking for. And I just want to find it. So I'm going to, uh, let's say, go back to the home page. Okay. And now I'm going to do a search by the skew, right? Well, there it is, which in normal cases is cool enough that it can find it by uh, skew since this particular product has uh, somewhere close to, I believe, uh, 120, 130 different uh, SKU possibilities. Um, and when I click on this, the beauty is, is that uh, when, you, when we can have the ability to think outside the box and really modify whatever we want, now when they go, it actually will take them, instead of the default uh, variation, it will take them directly to that SKU that we're looking for. Now, if we're gonna analyze this product page, uh, we'll probably analyze this one, which I had already set as an example. And this particular product page right here has 128 different uh, product variations, each one with its own SKU, each one with multiple pricing levels. And to add on top of that, um, there are four to six different product descriptions that need to change depending on the variation that they select from, which um, in, uh, meant that we had to add some additional code to some of these layout files to make that happen. And so right now I'm not logged in. So there's, only, there's no add to cart button, which is what the client wants since they sell directly to dealers. Um, and they only provide the information that they want to display to the general public. Now, these items, literature items that they can download, these are all custom fields that are attached to this particular product using a repeatable custom field. Uh, the options and accessories here, these are also custom fields that is a multi-select SQL window that I used for um, uh, being able to choose uh, products that... Uh, and that would enable them to, instead of having to go to another product page, they can add it to the cart if they're a dealer. Um, the industries, these are the tags that this product was added into um, originally. So they can click here to see other products that are, would match that particular industry. And these specifications are also an additional repeatable field that they can add to the overall product. Um, scrolling up as well. These icons here may seem like it's just some basic um, image HTML that's added. These are actually from a specific category of tags that is, um, you know, I call them certifications. 
And so any tag that this product happens to have from that category will show up here. So it makes it easy for the store owner when they add a new certification to just go through. On the back end, they can do bulk um, updates of tags to specific products and so on and so forth. Um, the uh, images here, they can also change depending on the variation. So if I switch between steel, concrete, we'll see the image also changes here. Every time the product changes, it will uh, also initiate the SKU. Now, what if I'm logged in? What does the experience look like for a super user that happens to be logged in also as a dealer? Well, this is what it would essentially look like if I'm logging in. Is that now we have the product pricing that's able to display as well as the MSRP pricing, which changes depending on on uh, on the different uh, selection. And we also have the ability now under the documentation to view any technical uh, resources, training videos, anything that is um, only available to dealers, uh, right? This section wasn't there before. Uh, options and accessories also switch. Now, instead of it uh, view product, because they can actually add to the cart, they can add some of these items directly to the cart without having to actually go to that product page. For items that are flex variant, advanced variant, ones that have multiple variations, that's also simply solved by bringing in these various different items that can then change the SKU pricing, and they can simply add that to the cart as well. Uh, and, and so there's uh, lots of additional um, items that can happen if I switch between digital to analog, right? The text here changes. If I switch between concrete, digital, right? The, the text changes as well. So all of these items all work together to, um, to really create an experience that makes for this particular client um, a great experience. An example of another product page is this is a supplement company. Um, they offer uh, normal one-time uh, purchases as well as subscriptions for these products, which often present a challenge because in J2 Store, we can't have uh, multiple variations um, beyond just one. So if I wanted to give them the op opportunity to select between every month, two months, or three months, then I can't also give them the ability to select uh, a one-time versus subscription uh, offer. So we use custom field to actually tie six separate products together to make them all look the same on this site. And as we scroll down, a couple additional features you'll notice is we have, um, you know, the table of nutrition. This is a custom field, which we can show how that works. So they can add as many multiple items as they want. The MSM powder is a tag. The beauty of having uh, their primary ingredients listed as tags is that it creates a separate page such as MSM powder. And then on that page, it would show any of the products that are tagged with this so they can see any products that contain MSM powder. And um, then if you notice down at the very bottom here, we have this scrolling um, a bar that also follows the customer all the way down and allows them to fully add any one of these items directly to the cart, directly down here. They can select a one-time, subscription, they can select one, two, three months, everything they can do at the top of the page, but this follows them both on mobile and on the desktop to make it a very uh, user-friendly, easy experience for them. Um, another product page is one off my own site. This is a case where there's 91 different options that they can pick from that each have their own different uh, images, descriptions. So the way I uh, was able to solve that is to make it into a scroller it allows them to scroll through all of the various different uh, designs. And if they wanna see that design um, up front, they can just simply click on the red little plus icon to see what that would look like. And depending on some of these designs, um, it would then give them the option of design color, uh, background color, et cetera. Now, uh, earlier when I uh, was on the homepage, if you, um, may have noticed is that uh, actually here, I already applied a coupon code. If I were to click on this, this is another customization that automatically adds um, a, the coupon code directly to the cart, okay? And so by doing that, 
Um, this now on the product page, it actually shows the Memorial Day coupon has been successfully applied. And it also has a separate message that should save an additional 10% of discount um, because of that coupon code being applied. And so as you notice, I'm logged in as, uh, as a admin here. It allows me to edit the product uh, with this edit product button. And, um, and the same thing, if one I log in here, it gives me the edit uh, product option as well. I'm going to cover in a second, but the next item that we want to cover to stay on track is the checkout uh, side of things. This is, uh, this is my own personal checkout um, where it allows them, this is a modified J2 store checkout to uh, fit more in line with uh, what the current user is um, used to, whether it's the Shopify or a modern uh, store platform. And so if I'm going through the checkout process, all right, I can select the uh, shipping, billing. If it's a digital product, you don't even have to go through that. Um, it, whether it's free shipping or if they want FedEx grounds, they can do that as well. And because I'm logged in, I also have a test payment option. Um, but if I were to choose PayPal, I can select that. If I wanted to do credit card, it actually, um, at least here in the States, we can still have stored um, payment methods just like Amazon does. Or if I wanted to add a new one, I could simply add a new one, start typing in something it'll automatically know because it's a four that it's uh that it's a visa and if i want to put in my security code and i can put that in so it really helps make the user experience much easier for them when they go through the checkout and so on and so forth um, and uh, before we start getting into some of the admin items one of the items um, that we are going to cover is the admin dashboard um, so while I'm here, one of the items that we want to show uh, before we get there is for this particular uh, customer that has product subscriptions, we have a built out something with J2 Store that allows them to manage their auto subscription for products. So they can simply click on the edit button. It, they can change the upcoming shipping address. They can change the uh, billing address. They can skip a month if they want so they can have it sent uh, in April, August 13th. They can change their overall date altogether, the change the quantity uh, and so on. And if they wanted to simply add a new product to the auto shipment, they can click here. And interestingly enough, this module that you're looking at is an article category module that was obviously modified to display these items. So all they have to do is simply click on, let's say if they want a 15 pack every month, they just simply click on every one month and the overall idea of this concept is that when they've added this to their auto ship, that when the next uh, auto ship hits on July 13th, that uh, these items will automatically be pushed in as another subscription. Uh, they will be combined into one order and um, then pushed into the client's uh, shipping system. The uh, customer gets one email that shows these three separate subscriptions are being sent to them. Um, and it really makes for a, a very simple, easy user experience. All, um, you know, everything I've shown you so far has either been Core Joomla or J2 Store. There's very few third-party modules or extensions outside of those um, that are used other than um, maybe a sitemap uh, extension uh, the, uh, and a few others, which we'll, we'll cover. So, that leads us into the next item, which would be the admin dashboard. These are uh, some of the tools that we provide uh, store owners, uh, aka clients for most of us that we're building these, uh, these pages out for. Um, and so because everything that I do is using a, um, a very basic uh, Joomla template that essentially is gutted down to nothing and then built up from the ground up, uh, the template settings, site settings, these are all areas that you would normally find in the back end that uh, they can actually access on the front end to make changes. Every one of these items that we see here, these are all items that, uh, uh, that were created uh, in some of the code that you'll find uh, uh, with the PowerPoint. Um, this is where we have the ability to add multiple different um, you know, uh, logos for mobile, for checkout, for the footer, uh, trust and anything that you can think of. Want to add social media items? You can add that as well. 
So all these can be controlled by the store owner without having to log in one time, right? And so now if, let's say we want to, uh, you know, they have questions. We even built a section. Uh, this is an article category override where we basically just take a basic HTML5 video. And uh, I don't know why this seems to happen when these display, I'm gonna refresh. But uh, they can scroll through these short two, three minute videos that are custom made for them. I'm not gonna scroll down anymore because it seems that it is affecting the screen. But essentially this, it makes it easy for them to be able to train their team uh, remind themselves if they haven't done something and it saves me a tremendous amount of time for spending 20 to 30 minutes to cover something and then get into additional talk um, uh, instead of just creating a three minute video that they can follow uh, at any time and now it's theirs um, uh, so on and so forth um, and then one of the additional items that's also super powerful that we've created at Joomla Gears is um is something uh called jstats um and in this case to make it easy for the client we've named it source stats but this allows them to actually get their thumb on the pulse of how healthy their store is for the current month so if they want to be able to filter out and see what are the let's say for the month to date they can simply run the report they can see uh, how many new customers they've gotten this month what the average customer of lifetime value is what their monthly store sales are what the average uh, subscription length is these are all important if you're running a subscription type uh, system because if you know that your average subscription length is around 114 days then around 110 days you start sending out emails um, talking about the benefits of the subscription or the products, different things, which can help um, lengthen the average subscription length. But if you don't know what these numbers are, then you don't know where to send out the email and it's all just throwing darts in the, in the dark. Um, this also has a breakdown to show where the revenue is coming from, um, as far as shoppers, as far as volume. Um, it even estimates you know, what their um, upcoming uh, year, uh, month is based on what their current average uh, daily sales are. This calculates what the customer lifetime value is. Uh, this particular project started uh, back in, uh, I believe, October. So it's only been uh, maybe about just over six months. Um, the checkout steps, these are actually using the activity uh, log uh, that Joomla already has. So anytime somebody goes from one page to another, triggers the Joomla activity log. So we're able to actually track, um, you know, where we're losing them in the checkout process without having to use any third party JavaScript, uh, you know, coding, which we still use anyways, but having this stored um, on the server side generally gives us a much more accurate uh, reading as well. Uh, we can see um, how much is coming in upcoming auto deliveries, who the top customers are, what the top product sales are. I mean, there's a tremendous amount of information um, that, uh, that a store owner can have on here. And, um, and so, and there, it also includes stuff from Core Joomla, like articles, users, uh, banners, uh, different things, uh, especially the Core JSTATS version, which we offer for free. Um, and for anybody that, uh, that does have a J2 store site, um, the J2 store extension fits in perfectly with this. Um, and so we've covered the admin dashboard, we've covered JSTATs. We're gonna cover briefly something that I don't see enough of in, uh, in other uh, projects is the ability to have the client uh, or yourself be able to really manage the product on the front end without having to log in, find it in the article section or the product section and be able to have all the functionality and even additional functionality than what they normally would have. So this one, we kind of combine the publishing section into the main content section. So as we scroll down, they have the ability to select multiple tags, to select the category they're in, um, so on, and the, the access level. But the real magic happens really kind of in the section of custom fields that I call product fields. Um, and so these product fields are all the different custom field options that we want to offer. So all those options and accessories that we were showing earlier 
on the product page. These can all be found in this section, and we should be able to see there's a lot, but anyone that's highlighted here, these are all the ones that are actually associated with this particular product. Um, and, um, you know, any of the FAQs, um, these are the different specifications. They just simply add one. Um, they want to hide this to make it easier for them to focus on area, all the technical resources. They're just using uh, the uh, JCE editor uh, module to make it easy to upload these different um, documents and so on. And all of this is all, uh, these are all custom fields that all tie into the J2 store uh, product itself that if anybody's edited J2 store products in the past, allow us to, uh, to do all that. And we can even see the variants to be able to update all of these different variants that this particular product has uh, and so on and so forth. Um, I know I am running out of time. We only got a couple minutes before the Q and A at the end. Um, so this is a, an example of a, uh, of a full page product uh, update. Um, and then the last and not least is in the back end. This is a section uh, also that we built at Joomla Gears called Magic Links. Uh, I'm sure we've all been there where you have um, either a client or one of their shoppers that is having a difficult time logging in. They don't remember their username or password. They call you, you say, hey, let me just assign a temporary password. And then, um, then they're gone and they you know, entered it in. Most likely they haven't actually uh, changed it or if they did, you know, they're just gonna forget it again. So what's an easier way, a safer way of being able to do that well, just like if any of us are familiar with Slack where you click an email link and it logs all your Slack information back into your Slack app, this works the same way. You can uh, literally go in, like in my case, we can open up, I can create one and it creates a, uh, a link that I can simply copy. And by simply copying this, if I were to go ahead and open this up in an incognito window where I'm not logged in, okay, I'm going to just show how this works in action. So I'm first gonna to go to the homepage so we can verify that I am not logged in, which I know I'm not because if I am, this message wouldn't show. But just to double check, I click here. As we can see, I am not logged in, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and paste that link that I copied earlier in here. And this link will allow me to log in a specific amount of time. And then it takes me directly to the change password page where um, the whoever gets this link, now this link will never work again. If somebody else gets in, in my email, they click something, that link won't, won't be worth anything. But for that one time they click that link, that will allow log them directly into their account where they can now update their password and it makes it for a much easier experience. Same thing if you wanted to share a backend view to a uh, a developer, but not have to set up an account. You can create a magic link that only works one time. They click it. Now they can be logged in as that particular user, uh, but they wouldn't know what the password is. So there's lots of, uh, of really amazing features that can be used for. Um, you can set it based on a date range or how many times that link's been used before it self-destructs, but the uh, possibilities are endless. So that is another example of additional tools that, uh, that we've created here to help um, really make the user experience much easier. So going through that, um, I am going to now go back to the PowerPoint briefly and just kind of run through the, uh, the next items. Um, the Joomla configuration, custom fields, template fields, tags, articles, all these, um, essentially you've, you've had a glimpse of the custom fields. We've seen um, some of the uh, template fields in, in the uh, front end template uh, uh, area that was in the admin section. You can add different tags um, and then the articles. And then the rest of this PowerPoint is really covering the layout overrides, the overall menu structure, where the files need to be uh, on your server in order to really work as an override. Um, uh, some of the, you know, essentially the vital uh, subdirectories that are in my template directory and what they do. And uh, there's obviously more that can be added here uh, and less, but these kind of make up the core of my uh, custom templates. 
And then getting into the technical side of things, this is the various different code that you need, depending on whether you want to put a custom field inside an article module. Um, and by a custom field, this gives you the ability to take a specific custom field based on its alias and not have to, you know, uh, run all of them directly through a for each statement, but this way you can style it to however you want. And um, we also show uh, custom fields, uh, adding it into a J2 store product page, custom fields into a J2 store category page, um, user custom fields, how to take a custom field on the user uh, account and be able to add that anywhere in your uh, template files, uh, same as a contact. Uh, custom fields, how to be able to take a contact information if you have anybody that's used in uh, contacts. And for those of you that um, are wondering, uh, you know, if anybody even uses that, I use it for this particular project in two areas. One to show sales territories. These five images here are part of the contact component custom field section that is associated with each one of these contacts. And then um, when you go into customer support team, these are also uh, a different category of contacts. Um, some of these are the uh, regional managers that we saw before, but if you click on one of their contact pages, it also uh, shows all their contact information as well as any articles that they've contributed to. So this is another example of the contact uh, component where you can use that. Um, this also shows how to be able to take specific tags uh, or even tag overrides and add them, such as what I use in various different projects that I've shown earlier. Um, this shows how to take fields from the template that we create from the template details XML file um, that's also mentioned in on page six. So a lot of this code here is not stuff to really necessarily cover right now, but stuff that you can definitely uh, use as a reference and use to test out. And if any of you run into any uh, challenges, you're more than welcome to email me at the email above and I will help you get whatever you need done um, working. Um, these are the codes. I made them very easy. Same code for both. You can use uh, JDAUSA30 um, uh, at JoomlaGears.com uh, or uh, J2Store.org uh, to get a 30% discount. Uh, the products you can buy at Joomla Gears, we have an Amazon plugin that allows your customers to pay with their Amazon account. It also works with subscriptions as well. Um, that is super powerful because uh, they don't even have to uh, type in, they can log in with their Amazon account. It creates an account on your site. They use their Amazon uh, shipping address. They use their Amazon payment. And all of that is automatically created, whether it's a one-time or a subscription sale, as well as JSTATS, which you can uh, download for free, uh, and then the JSTATS J2 Store extension as well. Um, and all those work in tandem with J2 Store uh, ecosystem as well. So with that, I think we got a couple minutes left. And um, I think, uh, Olivia, are you going to... Uh, uh, help with some of the Q and A or not yeah, sure. we we have a question from SD. Uh, she asks uh, for the search. You mentioned that it is customized. What did you start with? What did I start with? Yeah. Okay. Um, the uh, the extension that uh, that I use for that is it's the um, Universal AJAX Live Search. Let me. I, I believe it is. It consists of uh, WhatsApp. Yeah, what I could do yeah. is I believe. Yeah, let me see if I can find that. I it's. Get it all right. I want to make sure it's correct. I think somebody just unmuted. Um, but the uh, this is this is where I uh, this is the extension that I use um, that ties into J2 Store, and then we had a custom J2 Store uh, search plugin that I could send anybody that is um, that uses this that allows you to uh, filter out certain categories based on products, for instance, and be able to search on SKU and title as well. So um, any of these things, like I said, uh, you know, a lot of these are used for very specific purposes because they just do a better job than, than core products can in some areas, but in other areas, core products do a better job than, than the third party. So a lot of it just has to do with putting the time in 
um, and really banging your head against the wall and figuring stuff out that works. And, um, you know, unfortunately for me, I've spent years banging my head against the wall um, and figuring out what works and what doesn't work. And maybe it works for me and doesn't work for you or vice versa. But the good thing is, is uh, when you have an ecosystem like Joomla, we have lots of options that are available. Yeah, you get a lot of uh, wows in the chat section. Um, people are very impressed by all the features you offer in the, those products. Is there um, any examples you could show about uh, how you use custom fields in the in the admin of Joomla? Sure, I can definitely. Yeah, I can definitely do that. So um, an example, let's see, what would be... Well, let me ask uh, whoever asked that, do you want to see a, a basic so, uh, example just to see how it works um, or uh, more of a uh, complex it one? Uh, no, it's actually a question for myself. <laughs> oh, so, for yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, but uh, SP, SP says, said uh, more, more complex. complex. <laughs> so I, I think she just answered for you. So, um, yes. okay. So a complex one is on this page that we're looking at right here, right? The scale width input, all these items all the way up to modules. These are all um, product variations that are found in J2 store. So um, that's hence the 128 uh, different SKUs um, that create any one of these combinations. Now, what, uh, what you wouldn't notice because it, it was meant to blend right in is these three items here, site rail, advanced DD upgrade and riser blocks are actually custom fields that were added as an upgrade. We called it an upgrade option. So that way, when somebody is, is in here, we created a very brief set of rules that allow them to, um, to be able to uh, uh, select in this case, if they wanna add site rails to their product, it opens up here. This is an existing product that's listed somewhere else, but in that custom field, it allows us to, to choose this product. And if you notice, it also automatically multiplies because they would need this site rail times however long their scale length is. So we can say, you know, for this particular custom field, um, select, you know, use the, the value for the scale length and, mo and, and put that in here. And, and so same thing as we have the option of hiding. So right now, if I select analog, you'll notice the advanced DD upgrade um, will go away because that's only for digital. Right, so we select that and now that's gone. So that's an example. Now, how, how does that look in the back end? Well, if we go, in fact, let me just, uh, let's do it on the front end to show you what, what it looks like on the back end. Um, so because we have the full functionality and uh, features, including uh, we even have more, uh, more available features on this side than we do on the back end because I tied in JCE editor to the product field so we can uh, do much more with the images, resize them on the fly and so on. But as far as that example that we used, if I go under product fields, uh, this is the product upgrade section right here. And so for that site rail example, I said, I want to show product ID 556. This is what I wanted to show for the call to action site rail. And then this little bit of code that we use to make that happen. Now, this is the complex side because there's a lot of code on the layout override side that makes sense of this is the option ID for it to use. Uh, this is the uh, area, the uh, quantity multiplier and, um, and, and, and true. So these are the items, whereas this would be the product ID for the advanced DD upgrade. And so this is an example of a, a more complex one. Something that might be easier to see is the options and accessories here. If I scroll down like I did earlier, um, now this is a SQL um, custom field that comes standard, but these highlighted ones, this one catwalk stairs with handrail and kick plate, these are all the options and accessories. And we can see catwalk stairs with handrail and kick plate. So, what these custom fields do is essentially allow us on this product to point to something else. And if you know what the code is to grab that particular product ID, then the sky is the limit because this here is essentially just another category or layout override that you can use to manipulate and bend whatever the detail is that you need for any particular uh, project that is, uh, that is needed. Um, another example, 
is in addition to videos, I'm hoping there was no video on that one, um, but we also added the ability for them to add videos like Amazon um, in here as a custom field that would just show up at the end of the image slider um, and be able to, to do all that. So um, hopefully that was able to, uh, to give you uh, answer both ears of the complex one for SD and be able to show you an example um, uh, for you as well. I was actually wondering, uh, again, a question about my, uh, from me. Um, do you have a set of um, already available custom fields, custom fields that would be already ready when you set up the J2 store or is it something you uh, start from scratch? Like you know, usually one. I'll you know if I'm if I'm using template files like if if I have a certain type of uh, a, a template that I'm you know using that I've worked out the kinks for and kind of got it into a much more mature state that gives me the ability to customize and make them look different depending on the different uh, project requirements. I'll use a lot of the same files. Um, usually I'll start with a fresh Joomla install uh, on a new build and then go through and either add them through row CSVI import, um, which you can export all of the uh, custom fields and then import them um, if needed. Or in a lot of cases, I'll uh, just so I don't have old code that may, um, or old fields that are specific to a certain project and not needed, I'll usually kind of, you know, add the primary ones, but, uh, but some of those primary ones normally um, the FAQ section, definitely. Uh, FAQs are very powerful for SEO if you uh, add the necessary meta tags to those. Um, usually I have some sort of bullet points for specifications where they can just simply add new ones uh, as they go or remove them. Um, and then some place for documents, literature. It also depends on the type of e-commerce project uh, that it is. Um, usually it's just a matter of creating the custom fields and finding some previous layouts that I've done that are closest to it, and then just simply modifying, tweaking those, uh, those items. Um, but as far as the documentation, like I said, for anybody that wants to know uh, any of these custom field tutorials, uh, the best thing to do is email me uh, two things. What it does, I'll send you this, uh, this slide so you can copy and paste all the actual code and where it would go also lets me know that, um, that you actually uh, are interested in this information and, and I'm not wasting my time, but more importantly, uh, you will be surprised if you have questions and you email me, I will respond and I will hopefully be able to get you the answer that, that you're looking for, um, for any of these items and then some, but uh, this is something that I, um, I've done for a long time. 99% uh, of my projects are done using Joomla. Um, if somebody wants a different project, I can refer them to other developers that do good work in, on those platforms. But um, you know, there are plenty of projects out there and there's plenty, plenty of, uh, of work out there, clients that really, you know, they may have heard of Joomla or WordPress or, or Shopify or any of the other big name uh, stores. But at the end of the day, you know, if, you're not gonna tell your contractor what tools to use. Uh, you just want the contractor to build you a, a, a beautiful home uh, quality home, something that, uh, you know, that you don't have to uh, look back and regret. And so if you are uh, super familiar with Joomla and, you know, you want to be able to offer more to your clients, to yourself, uh, these are all things that, uh, that can add the extra finishing touch that can separate you from other developers in whatever platform that they're using. Wow, thank you, Adam. That was very... Uh... Uh, a very great set of features and now I want to use it. <laughs> well, you guys, uh, you know how to get in touch with me and whatever I can do to help by all means, um, yeah. you know, let me know. Um, but I think uh, for those of you, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Olivia, can you see anybody in the comments like what their actual emails are or do they have to do we? Are no, you I, I, I know the names, but then I can refer. Uh, I, I have the name so I can refer. Uh, okay, so did you the... want to maybe turn on your, your camera and pull from a hat or, or whatever system you were going to use? And uh, then whoever, I put whoever everybody's wins. name on the piece of paper and it's okay. near me. Uh, let's me. Uh, 
Sure. And whoever wins, uh, we will send them not just the J2 store. They are um, here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I, perfect. I moved it. Oh, my video is off. Sorry, my, my video got off. Um, yes, I am um, sorry. Well, anyway, uh, I got everything on everybody on a piece of paper. I moved everything and I can just randomly select one. So Mary Nevius is, is the one I picked. Okay, is, is she still on? Yes, she is still on. Mary, uh, do you want to get in touch uh, with? Mary, go email me um, uh, at the email address that's here on the, uh, that's on my screen. Um, and uh, then I will send you the full license. Uh, let me know in the email if you already have a J2 store license with them. If not, um, then uh, I'll give you instructions on how to set it up and then I'll send the license to you and then uh, also notify J2 stores so they can activate your uh, your year license for the pro version. Anybody else? Uh, and then I'll also send you the same information for Joomla gear so you'll have access to JSTATS and the J2 store um, extension for JSTATS. Uh, anybody else? JSTATS, uh, the, the core version for J Joomla articles, banners, so on. Um, users, that is all on there for free. You can download from Joomla Gears uh, for free and always add later on any of the additional extensions that uh, that plug into that. I know we're running close, so um, I'll uh, hand it yes. off to you. Yes, th th thank you very much, uh, Adam. And that was a great, uh, great session. Um, thank you very much to everyone who participated. And again, thanks to our premier sponsor, Watchful. And uh, we'll see you at the keynote. Thank you. Thank you, guys.